Reinforced Ukrainian troops have stalled a Russian offensive on the Donetsk region town of Pokrovsk, a key part of the front, for more than a week, but there are no signs that Russia has abandoned its goal of advancing on the city. The New York Times reports. It is noted that the fighting in the villages and fields to the east of the city remained unstable and the Russian troops continue to advance in other places, according to servicemen fighting there. The publication added that in the Pokrovsk area, Ukraine has reinforced its troops with soldiers from two brigades. The Pokrovsk direction came as a surprise, admitted a tank commander from the 93rd Mechanized Brigade of Ukraine. The 12th Azov Brigade of the National Guard of Ukraine also announced its presence in New York City near Pokrovsk. When the brigade was deployed in this area, the situation on the front line was catastrophic. Despite intense fighting, our soldiers are holding the line. As battlefield maps show, the Russian advance on Pokrovsk was halted a week ago near the town of Selidovo. But the Russian advance continued south, where the Russian army has all but encircled the Ukrainian-held territory between the towns of Pokrovsk and Kurakovo. Recall that, as Forbes wrote, Ukrainian troops are counter-attacking in several sectors along the Eastern Front. It was noted that the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine was able to form a reserve detachment of about five brigades, in particular by involving the National Guard forces. It was noted that last year the National Guard of Ukraine expanded and strengthened several of its brigades, uniting them into a so-called offensive guard that includes the 12th Azov Brigade as well as the Karadag Brigade, which recently took up positions south of Pokrovsk and quickly counter-attacked. Now the capture of the city by the Russians no longer seems inevitable. It was noted that the high terrain in Pokrovsk and its environs encourages the attacking forces to head towards the lower seven approaches to the city. This also directs them towards Selidovo. At least 21 people have died in Vietnam after Typhoon Yagi slammed the country's north, triggering landslides and floods, state media reported on Sunday. National television station VTV said at least 12 people had been killed in mountainous provinces after heavy rain caused by the typhoon softened the soil and collapsed on houses. In Lao Cai province, a landslide swept through a village, killing six people and injuring nine others, the report said. In Hoa Binh province, a landslide killed four people in a family as they were sleeping in the early hours of Sunday, the report added. The heavy rain also saw rivers burst their banks, submerging houses in various parts of the northern region. Yagi, described by Vietnamese meteorological officials as one of the most powerful typhoons in the region over the past decade, made its way to the Southeast Asian country after it left three people dead and nearly a hundred others injured in the Chinese province of Hainan. The typhoon landed at Vietnam's coastal provinces of Quang Ninh and Haiphong with wind speeds of up to 149 km per hour, state media reported. Quang Ninh is home to the UNESCO World Heritage Site Ha Long Bay, known for its many towering limestone islands. Hundreds of cruises were cancelled at the popular site before the typhoon landed, according to local media. Authorities said they expected more rain in the coming days and issued warnings for further flooding and landslides. Được xây dựng kiên cố, nhưng sau trận báo, nhiều hạng mục đã tan hoang. Những điểm nhấn du lịch tại Hà Long như Sun World chắc chắn phải mất nhiều tuần nữa mới có thể khôi phục trở lại. Nhiều người dân Quảng Ninh, dù đã chuẩn bị tinh thần ứng phó, nhưng cũng không thể ngờ sức tàn phá của cơn bão này. Gần 20.000 ngôi nhà bị tốc mái. Mà đến ủy ban tỉnh và rất nhiều những công trình khác tại trung tâm của thành phố Hạ Long lúc này cũng đang ngổn ngang sau bão cho thấy thiệt hại do bão số 3 là rất nặng nề tại tỉnh Quảng Ninh. Và theo thông tin mà chúng tôi cập nhật thì ngay lúc này đây, chính quyền tỉnh Quảng Ninh cũng đang họp với các địa phương để có thể thống kê thiệt hại cụ thể sau bão. Còn đến lúc này, theo sơ bộ thì tỉnh Quảng Ninh đã ghi nhận có 3 người chết, 157 người bị thương, 70% cây xanh đô thị tại Cẩm Phả, Hạ Long, Vân Đồn và Quảng Yên đều bị thiệt hại. Còn giờ đây thì gần như hầu khắp thành phố Hạ Long lúc này là một quang cảnh ngổn ngang. Và đến sáng nay khi mà mưa đã dứt, 
thì người dân địa phương cũng đang tích cực chủ động dọn dẹp nhà cửa, đường phố. Cho đến tận bây giờ thì ở đây vẫn mất điện, sóng điện thoại cũng rất kém, gây khó khăn trong liên lạc. Kết nối...